Hello guys, welcome to Path Enlighted. This is Nikita here. Today we will be dealing uh, with the second part of the accounting. Now let's start with it. First we will be doing a BRA that is Bank Reconciliation Statement. It is a statement prepared to reconcile the bank balance as per the cash book with the balance as per the passbook. So the difference between these two books is that the showing the items of difference that is timing of recording of the transaction and that if any error is made by the business or by the bank. Now what is suspense account? Suspense account is that uh, while tallying the trial balance an accountant has to carry forward his accounting irrespective of the fact that the trial balance is not tallying and to for making it to tally he has to do the he has to do that he has to put the difference amount on the shorter side under the heading of suspense account. Now next we will be dealing with bills of exchange as an instrument. It is an instrument or a device which is given by the purchaser or debtor in a credit transaction. It is not required to make immediate payment but satisfy the seller or creditor by accepting in writing the liability to pay the amount due from it. And promise a note. Promise a note is a promise by the debtor to the creditor to pay a sum of money in accordance with the conditions stated therein. So the difference between bill of exchange and promise a note is that in bill of exchange, there is no such conditions which is stated there according to which the data has to pay the uh, creditor. Whereas in promissory note, the, there are some conditions stated there accordingly to which the data has to pay the amount to the creditor. Now, profit seeking entities, profit seeking entities are those entities who work for making gain or profits through the trading, and non profit entities are those entities who does not work for making profit and it provides services to the members or society at large. Now partnership. Partnership is defined as a relationship between person, two persons or a, a group of persons uh, who have agreed to share the profits of a business carried on by them. Uh, some, there are some essential features of partnership business that is it is to form, be formed by an agreement then uh, number two that uh, to form a partnership there must be at least two partners and the agreement should be for carrying on some legal business and not illegal for any illegal purpose sharing of profits and losses and relationship of mutual agency among the partners now dissolution of partner firm a partnership firm now for dissolution of partnership firm it means that discontinuation and discontinuation of partnership and separation of economic relationship between the partners in this case the dissolution of firm closes its business altogether and realizes all its assets and pays all its liability. Now the company. An organization consists of individual or shareholders. Now companies can be classified either on basis of liability of its members or on the basis of number of members. Basically uh, companies limited by uh, companies are of three types that is companies limited by shares companies limited by guarantee and com unlimited company now company limited by shares in this case the liability of its members is limited to the extent of the nominal value of shares held by them and the member has paid the full amount of shares there is no liability on his part but is companies limited by guarantee in this case the liability of its members is limited to the amount they undertake to contribute in the event of the company being wound up that is the liability of the members will arise only when there will be winding up and unlimited companies when there is no limit on the liability of its members now on the basis of number of members company can be divided into two that public company and private company public company as we know is governed by the com uh, public that is um, government and the private company is by the individual. Now, public company means a company which is not a private company, which is a minimum capital of rupees five lakh, and um, it has a private company which is a subsidiary. Now, private company is a company which has a minimum paid of capital of rupees one lakh, and restrict the right to transfer share. There are a number of the number of members is limited to fifty and it provides any invitation to the public to subscribe for any shares now for it also provides or prohibits any invitation or acceptance of deposits now debenture debenture is the acknowledgement of debt it is a loan capital raised by the company from 
general public now financial statements financial statements are the end products of accounting process which reveal the financial result of a specified period and financial position on a particular date or of a particular financial year now balance sheet balance sheet is a sheet which shows all the assets owned by the concern and all the obligations or liabilities payable to the outsiders or the creditors now liquidity ratio liquidity ratio is to meet its commitment business needs liquid funds the ability of business to pay the amount due to stakeholders as and when it is due is known as liquidity and the ratio calculated to measure is known as liquidity ratio it is generally of short term nature now solvency ratios solvency of business is determined by its ability to meet its contractual obligation towards stakeholders and to calculate this ratio it is known as solvency ratio it is of long term nature now activity or turnover ratio this refers to the ratio that are calculated for measuring the efficiency of operation of business based on effective utilization now profitability ratio profitability ratio means it refers to the analysis of profits in relation to sales of funds employed in the business now debt equity ratio measures the relationship between long term debt and equity the normal the ratio is 2 to 1 net profit ratio is based on on inclusive concept of profit and the ratio is net profit of sales into 100 that is generally net profit refers to profit after tax that is pat now return on capital employed or investment that roc or roi it explains the overall utilization of funds by a business enterprise means the overall utilization of fund is done by the business enterprise is explained here and the capital employed means the long term funds now profit refers here to the profit before interest and tax at pvit for computation of the ratios now eps earning per share now profits available for equity shareholders are number of equity shares this ratio is very important from equity shareholders point of view and so also for the share price in stock market now book value per share equity shareholders funds a number of share equity firm refers to shareholder funds or preference share capital this ratio is again very important for equity shareholders point of view now dividend payout ratio it is a proportion of earnings that are distributed among the shareholders a price earning ratio price earning ratio is those in ratio that is market price of a share earning per share it reflects investors expectations from the growth in the firm's earning now revised as 3 has made it mandatory for all listed companies to prepare and present a cash flow statement now a cash flow statement is a statement which shows inflow and outflow of cash and cash equivalent from various activities of a company during a specific period now direct method direct method is a major heads of cash inflows and outflows such as cash receipt from debtors salary payments etc indirect method indirect method of setting cash flow from operating it usually begins with the profit or net and profit this is not so because income statement incorporates as the effects of all of obtaining operating activities now this is all for today subscribe to this channel for free education and promote it among friends for any queries or suggestions mail us at pathenlighter@gmail.com thank you